The 1911 pistol has been around for more than 100 years, and there's a company making a great 1911 that's just about to celebrate its 100th year anniversary. Art Moore, Auto Ordnance. You might just tell everybody a little bit about the history of this company. Well, thank you, Tom. Uh, Auto Ordnance is actually a company, an American company, that was started in 1916 by then Colonel Thompson. That's the uh, of the Thompson. Correct. The Tommy gun. He was the designer of the world famous Thompson submachine gun, and okay. that's where the name Thompson comes from. Right. Uh, this gun comes uh, to us now from Auto Ordnance, which was his original company uh, name. Okay. Auto Ordnance has been making 1911s for a long time in the GI market, the Parkerized sure. blue yeah. uh, the government Pretty models. much straight like military tile. Exactly. That's not what this is. Exa <laughs> you're exactly right. We've tried to take this gun and create a fully capable combat pistol out of stainless steel. Oh, okay. We have incorporated some of the same features that we've learned on the GI gun, mm -hmm. like the uh, a, we have a hardened disconnector and sear right. and a one-piece barrel, but this barrel is stainless steel along with the slide and frame. We huh. use a, a, a high-grade um, 416R stainless steel, right. and uh, we incorporate a uh, full-length recoil spring right. guide along with some of the features that you will find on other high-speed guns like a dovetail front sight. We use a, a rear sight that is dovetailed that extends the uh, sight radius to the full five inches. Got a nice beaver tail back here. It does. It has a grip safety that, that uh, is extended. We have a skeletonized hammer and an adjustable trigger along with some really nice serrations on the uh, mainspring housing and on the front strap of the grip. Look at that. You got great checkering. Look at here. Or, and it feels so good in the hands. Auto Ordnance 1911 ready to go out of the box, take it to the range, or even to competition. And it's all American made. How about that? The Thompson Stainless 1911. It's all about having a pretty gun. Heck, they even give you a stainless steel magazine. But I wanted to talk a little bit about some particulars with shooting the 1911. It's all about the trigger control and where you keep your thumb. All 1911s have a thumb safety. In fact, the 1911 has the perfect thumb safety, which all guns try to be, right? So when you're riding this gun, the, the thumb should ride right there on top. When you shoot the gun, your thumb should be on top of the safety the whole time. If you run it below, the recoil could accidentally put the safety on. So always run with the thumb on top of the safety like that. And when we talk about trigger, when you do the trigger, when, if you're used to shooting a polymer gun, you might be getting into the habit of sticking your finger in where the trigger is hitting on that first joint. That's not where you want the, your finger. You want your finger in the middle of the pad on that trigger, just like this. This would be too far, and this would be just about right. Let's shoot it on target. Here we go. 